Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Well, yesterday we had a pretty turbulent day with the bears coming in in force, overwhelming those bulls. But by the end of the day, we had a little bullish action to fight back here in the market. We've got a lot of uncertainty ahead, and I know there's a lot of hopefulness that this selling is over, and that could be the case, at least for the short term. But how about we really investigate the price action of the chart, take a look at those technicals, and see how we want to approach the market today. So let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at a market that is a little bit shell-shocked. I'm guessing there is considerable pain in quite a few traders' uh, portfolios out there after yesterday's, um, you know, big move, that weekend reversal that can be kind of shocking and very painful for a lot of folks. And so let's take a look at um, the price action in the chart, see what we can see from this market. Now, as I've been mentioning for some time, um, the diamonds has broken its um, uptrend substantially. We tested it as resistance, and then we have created a, a new low. What that means is the Dow is now officially in a downtrend. And any rally back up has to be looked at for the potential of rallying just a relief rally back into resistance back into the downtrend and we want to be watching for that potential failure so for all of you dip buyers out there that are just um, uh, repeat that mantra over and over it's time to buy the dip we're going to want to be careful remember there are quite a few uncertainties in the path forward um, and so we've got to be respectful of price resistance in the chart. So we have a fairly significant level of price resistance, as you can see here in the Dow. A rally back up certainly seems likely right now. That bit of a hammer type pattern being placed yesterday certainly gives us that warm and fuzzy feeling that we may get a bit of a relief rally. But let's not forget the fact that the market is still in a downtrend and we have um, a 50 day moving average above that will challenge us as we move up. Let's notice the eight exponential moving down. We've got a 34 EMA pushing down to provide resistance in the 20 exponent or 20 simple still has a little bit of slide to go before we uh, potentially line up a really significant resistance level right in this region um, including that downtrend so I don't think we're in in any way shape or form should we be be sounding the all clear and the idea that we should just jump back in. As a matter of fact, there are a significant number of folks out there, even a report on CNBC I saw from a technician suggesting that this rally back up could um, bring in the test of the 200 day moving average. So kind of keep that in mind. We, we still have some potential downside that could occur. We're a market that's going to be very, very sensitive to news. And as you know, we have, we're worried about political infighting over the Supreme Court appointment that is steamrolling down the the line here pretty quickly uh president says he's going to make that appointment on saturday congress is already uh bristled up ready for a fight on uh, that appointment. We also have um some uncertainty about a potential government shutdown 
the uncertainty about whether or not Congress, with all of this infighting and all the stuff that they're going to be doing, if they will even get around to um, the a second stimulus bill um, that they have been talking about for the market, we also have an election coming that is providing an awful lot of uncertainty. So what we have to consider is that we may have seen the, the high for the year. We may end up in a market, not necessarily overall bearish, but we may end up in a market with a considerable volatile um, consolidation that could ensue until we get past that election. So keep that in mind, that possibility that we could go sideways in a choppy manner here is certainly a possibility. So be careful with that idea that it's just a buy the dip, it's all clear, everything is over, we're going to zoom back higher now. Because I just think there's just too many things out there for us to deal with. And I suspect the market will be very, very sensitive to news, the news cycle over the net or the rest of the week anyway as um, the Fed chair is testimony, uh, testifying on the Hill and all the different things going out um, uh, and spinning around out there in the political arena. Could be an interesting uh, week ahead and maybe weeks ahead as um, that news cycle continues to spin out. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pretty damaging uh, price action yesterday, breaking down below its 50 day moving average, following through with that yesterday a significant sell-off notice that the eight exponential moving average has crossed down below that 50-day and that leaves um, leaves us with the opportunity that we have created a fairly significant resistance level here above so we'll want to be respectful of that and remember that as the reef relief rally comes into play which i suspect there will be a relief rally we'll just be rallying right back into a pretty significant price resistance point here in that chart and some difficulties that we may have to face um, later on if if those sellers uh, decide to come back in and push these indexes lower so watch that close let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq had a good solid rally back yesterday but once again we want to remember that we are in a downtrend here in the nas whoops we are in a downtrend here in the nasdaq and we certainly are not out of the woods here and even though we had that nice little bullishness coming in um uh, there's no candle pattern that I know of that makes that a bullish candle. It's not a piercing candle. It's just a rally back. It's a dead cat bounce, at least at this point. And any rally back up to the resistance level of that 50-day moving average, this congestion level in um, the, the, um, the tech sector, could serve as a significant resistance uh, point um, as we rally back up. So be careful just throwing caution to the wind and, and jumping in with that buy the dip mentality because I'm not sure um, we're out of the woods here yet. Certainly the all clear has not been sounded, at least at this point. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, surprisingly, had hold, held up quite well, but yesterday it gave up a big move with financial selling off strongly with the oil sector um, selling off pretty strongly and we dove down below the 50-day moving average and the 500-day moving average in the chart notice our a shorter term 3 34 20 are all coming in here to set up a resistance zone right in this area so any relief rally coming back will want to watch that carefully and respect that price resistance and not assume that we are just going to fly right through um, um, that we could easily hit those and come back. So watch that close. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, this is probably our best indicator right now of a bit of a relief rally. As you can see, we have reached that oversold condition here in the chart pushing all the way down in here to these lower ranges. So we kind of overdid the selling and the market typically does that. We get very emotional and we oversell, we overbuy. And um, we're in that oversold region right now. Now, 
Now, I want to be really clear. That doesn't necessarily mean that we absolutely have to just rip back higher. Um, as a matter of fact, I would not expect that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to expect that we will rally, but it's going to be a... A um, little bit of a difficult rally. We'll probably get some short covering that help move that along a little bit if the bulls push pretty hard. But let's keep in mind that um, market confidence has been shaken pretty hard here. And I doubt that there's going to be a massive rush back in to this and swinging us just straight back to the highs. So kind of keep in mind, it may be more of a muted uh, rally as we run back up and test resistance levels in the chart. But I do expect some kind of a relief rally, which would be nice to see a little bit of um, taking a breath here um, um, as the, the pain of the market kind of um, subsides for a little bit. Let's take a look at T2101. And as I suspected yesterday, and this is not a good sign in my opinion, um, we saw market breadth actually increasing yesterday on that selling wave so as we look at this chart it is nice that we were finally getting a little bit of market breadth in here we've suffered from a lack of that for some time but unfortunately the the major rally here in market breadth has been on the sell side not the buy side and um, if we catch that relief rally and see t2101 pulling back that's going to give us more clue that we just don't have the energy the mojo to really push up so watch that close let's take a look at the our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to pay attention to um, First off, we have existing home sales, as you can see here today, at 10 a.m. Eastern. That could move us along or help us out a little bit. Um, right now, consensus is suggesting a, a, a modest increase on those existing home sales, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's also keep in mind the probably the big uh, move of the day or the big driver of the day will be Jerome Powell. Um, he'll be speaking at the Hill today doing his testimony. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And as you can see, that just keeps cascading along here for uh, three days. We'll want to pay attention to that. We also have several Fed speakers that are out there. We have a parade of those this week. So we'll want to pay attention to those. Not that we'll learn anything new, but we definitely want to pay attention um, when the Fed's talking with so much turmoil in the market. So watch that close as we progress forward let's take a look at our earnings calendar we have a um, few a few things on the earnings calendar that we want to pay attention to today that could help move us around a little bit um, we have about 12 companies reporting and some notables to pay attention to we have Nike that is reporting today let's keep an eye on that looks like Nike is expected to open about where it closed right where it is let's notice that Nike has broken its uptrend and we do have some resistance levels above so hopefully earnings can come in really really good one thing I would suggest is this has moved up so hard and so fast in anticipation of those earnings those earnings have better be pretty good or we could see some selling here in Nike so watch that closely um, AZO AZO also uh, reporting today it looks like it's gapping substantially higher on its report today you can see we closed down down here yesterday pushing up so nice little move here in azo let's keep a, an eye on this you notice that we've got a significant price resistance here in the chart hopefully um, the bulls can push that through help out the market here a little bit if we can get through that price resistance um, azo might be something to be paying attention to take a look at kbh housing has certainly been one of those bright shining spots here in the market kbh will be reporting today we'll want to take note that we do have a significant level of resistance up here to deal with but we do have this rising lows um, so we've got this big wedge pattern setting up if we get a good enough earnings report we may pop on through there so watch that carefully today
as it reports we have scs i don't know if this is all that particularly notable but still case will be reporting today what's interesting in this chart is that it has broken this downtrend we've progressed up here in anticipation of those earnings trying to break some resistance in the chart so watch that carefully as it reports today it could uh, turn into a pretty nice bullish chart and sfix um, once again, I'm not sure this is a particularly notable stock, but something to pay attention to, and particularly because we're up here testing resistance levels heading into earnings. We'll want to keep an eye on that with these rising lows, that possibility that that could break through and start showing some good signs. So watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look. Um, at some stocks that could be setting up but guys if you could do me a favor before we do that if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that thumbs up button when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos hopefully you can see by these videos that I try to avoid all of the hype and the prediction that you might see in other places. I really want to look at the technicals and decide how I want to approach the market to, for the day. What I'm saying is I try to remove all of the, the emotion, really study the price action in the chart and determine whether or not this is a good market for me to trade or not, or if I need to be... Um, you know, pushing um, into that market. And if you find these to be helpful, please also do me a favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps us to grow. And if you guys could do me a favor also, please share this video on your social media platform. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember that as I show you these, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, just a, a part of the education that I provide, make sure you do your own due diligence in these charts and try to um, um, make sure that they fit you personally in a trade. A couple trades that I took yesterday, I'll pass those on to you, um, that I was looking at. QQQ had a substantial sell-off, as you know, but was picking up nice, and we were reacting to some support level in this chart. So yesterday, I picked up a bullish put credit spread. I'm far out of the money on this. Um, and by the end of the day, had a very nice profit in the position, um, better than 20%. And with that following through today, that's going to look pretty good. But please keep in mind, guys, I would not be wanting to hold this all the way through to expiration. And as a matter of fact, as we approach resistance up in here, it may be just a good reason to take that profit off. Watch that carefully. But NASDAQ um, has been the strongest of the indexes. And I expect more of a relief rally to come in the NASDAQ, a little bit more bounce to come in that. So watch that close. Having said that, take a look at Microsoft. I also suggested to the members the right way options yesterday the possibility of a Microsoft bull put credit spread and we picked that up in here I picked that up in here and at the end of the day um, also better than a 20% return on that in a single day on that trade now Microsoft is one of those good stable companies and one that could see a bit more of relief or relaxing in this chart but I don't want to suggest that we are out of the woods here as a matter of fact um, if we were to break this support all bets are off um, in Microsoft but if we can start pushing back up into some of these resistance levels break through some of that um, Microsoft may be one of those places that you could look for a potential trade a um, lot of work um, has to be done in these but techs may be the one that give us a little bit of a bounce back here let's take a look at uh, some other stocks like NIO NIO ended up holding up very very well yesterday Yesterday. Um, this is that um, electric auto manufacturer. It's been highly speculated around. Um, fundamentally, there's nothing going on in this company, but lots of speculation and electric cars um, are very, very popular right now. So keep an eye on this NIO holding up quite well. Um, opportunity to move on higher um, definitely looks like 
um, a good chance here. Take a look at Roku. Roku had an astonishing day yesterday, just really powering higher. So let's keep an eye on this. I wouldn't want to chase this with such a big move on one day. It puts the stop loss a long ways away in that chart. But any rest or pullback in this chart here on Roku sets up an opportunity. So if we kind of rest, consolidate, or pull back over here to this trend, sets up a nice opportunity. Very, very strong move overall yesterday. So let's keep a close eye on that chart. Um, also want to be taking a look at some of these stocks that were holding up pretty well, had a bad day yesterday. If they can bounce back, there may be some opportunities here in like 3M, good dividend payer, um, might be able to come back. But boy, yesterday was pretty damaging, really, really sucking the life out of that uh, potential upside trade. So not the best um, chart to be looking at. Um, unless it can really come back and show some signs of strength. One of the things we're going to have to start paying attention to, everyone, is these stocks that were punished pretty hard, if we get that rally back and that failure, these become potential shorts in the days ahead, short trades, so watch that carefully. Um, stocks like STZ. STZ put in a nice little hammer yesterday, but broke this significant level of support. Now, if we can crawl back up above of that and proof to hold up here there may be an opportunity for a long at the same time any rally back up that receives a failure could set up a potential short trade so keep in mind there may be a lot more shorting um, in the near future so let's watch that close so there's a few stocks for you to consider today be really really careful be careful with this whole idea of just buy the dip and rush back in um, plan your trading very very carefully we're likely to be a very volatile market um, confidence has been shaken in, in this market there's going to be a lot of back and forth we could see a lot of sensitivity we could see a lot of head fakes a lot of intraday reversals and overnight reversals that we may have to deal with so just keep that in mind as you plan your risk everyone take care have an awesome day i want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day